For this week's episode, I'm sticking around the house because I'm gonna be trying something super tasty. I'm trying out the Philips XXL Air Fryer. It's essentially like deep frying your food, but in air. What? I figured that this would be a really fun one for you guys to see for yourself, so let's head to the kitchen. Okay, so I'm here. I'm gonna unpack the Philips XXL air fryer. As you can tell, my kitchen is XXS. So this might not be the right size for somebody in a New York City apartment, but we're gonna try it out. Uh, and it sounds like it has a bunch of cool new features, um, including being able to cook an entire chicken. Well, good, this is so helpful. So it comes with a recipe book which is really nice. I wanna make sure that I'm cooking things the way that they recommend, so this will be really helpful. I'm gonna move it down here because it seems pretty big. It's not as crazy big as I was anticipating, so this is a pleasant surprise. I feel like this is something that I could potentially find space for in a small apartment, and I know that they definitely have smaller versions, so this is just the largest, newest example, but I'm, I figure that this is the best one to try out because they have, because it's the most up-to-date. The whole idea behind the air fryer is that you're able to enjoy foods that would traditionally be prepared in a deep-fried manner, uh, but with less fat. You can kind of think of this the way that you would think of like a traditional deep frying pan. Uh, it holds everything kind of uh, suspended in the air so that the hot air can heat it up. At least that's how I understand it. Okay, so this is the pan that everything cooks in. It has that kind of swirl detail at the bottom. And then this is the fat reducer. You have to put this inside. Step one, then you put this back into the pan, like so. I've already added the mesh cover to the bottom of the basket. I am going to drop that in here. And this seems to be all the assembly that's required. Because this is a totally unfamiliar tool to me, I wanted to start pretty small in terms of what I was cooking. I'm not gonna go straight for the full chicken, as you might expect. Um, and I figured that french fries were pretty easy. I'm going to peel and cut the potatoes and get them ready to go and then put them in the cold water for 30 minutes and then I'll check back in with you when we're ready to start cooking them. So I'm going to put the potatoes in. Okay. Ooh, that is a ton of potatoes. Okay. So the required temperature right now is 250 and we want that for 10 minutes. Okay, step one is already started. Woo, all right, it's done. Okay, so that's step one. I'm gonna take these out. They should have, whoa. Okay, so they went in pretty wet and now they seem to be they're a little warm and much much drier so now I'm going to toss these back into the bowl see this up a little bit okay these are all tossed and I am going to put them back into the basket, okay. And the last step is cooking these for 35 minutes at around 350 degrees. So I just programmed the temperature to 350 and I am starting the fryer for oops, around 35 minutes. It also says to come back and shake the basket twice during the cooking process, so I'll check in and do that. Um, and I'll see you guys when these are fried and ready to go. Okay, going in for the first shake. Wow. 
Whoa. Look at these. Oh my gosh. This looks so good. Okay, this one fell, so I'm gonna eat this first. Oh my gosh. Whoa, these are super crispy. Like I said, I wanted them to be. I think I may have overbaked these, over fried these, especially some of these littler ones, like these here. That's all crunch. I think that this is probably more along the size of what the fries should have been, so I'm gonna try this. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's perfect. That's a really good one. So this is day one of using the Philips air fryer and I am really satisfied with the final product. I think that maybe it was my mistake for cooking them a little bit too long and making the fries a little bit too small. But overall, the final product is delicious. It's pretty simple to clean, so that's really exciting too. Once this cools down, I'm gonna take out the fat reducer and the mesh pan that I showed you along with the, um, the basket that basically moves everything in and out, and they're all machine washable. No, that's for clothes. They are all dishwasher safe. <laughs> So I'll just toss them in the dishwasher and they'll be ready to go tomorrow when I'm going to make something a little bit on the easier and quicker side. I will see you guys tomorrow. Can't wait. Mm. I've picked up some vegetable egg rolls at the supermarket closest to me. Um, and I'm gonna cook those according to the instructions in the uh, recipe book that they give you. They have a handy little preset here. So they have things like frozen snacks. It says to cook for around six to 10 minutes at 350 degrees, um, which is pretty simple. I cleaned all of this yesterday in the dishwasher. Uh, it was really easy. Um, it took up a lot of space simply because, again, this is the extra, extra large version. Let me just go ahead and start ripping into the package here, and I'm going to get this started. I'm going to lay these down in the pan. This package says that it will be ready in four minutes if you use a microwave, uh, but if you plan to bake these, it would take around 18 to 22 minutes and if you want to deep fry them it would take around seven to eight minutes um, once the oil is heated up completely so when you put that into the context of around six to ten minutes this seems about on par with how long it would take you to deep fry something significantly shorter than it would take for you to bake it and uh, maybe a little bit longer than it would take in the microwave, but I think that the, the reason you would want something like this is because the quality is presumably better when you are air frying it than when you're putting it in the microwave. I'm gonna this guy. It's on 350 degrees, and I'm gonna go for two, four, six. I'm gonna go for just right around six minutes to start because I don't wanna overdo it. Um, and let's see how this goes. Woo! Okay. I feel like I make that same noise every single time this goes off, but it's because I know that good food is on the way. This is finished. Oh, you can hear them sizzling. I'm gonna move this to the side so you can see the beauty of these delicious little egg rolls. I'm just gonna go for it. Well, I'm not gonna lie, it could be a little bit crispier on the outside. This skin looks super crispy when you first lay eyes on it. Then when you flip to the underside, there's a little bit of kind of oil or grease that's gotten trapped underneath the weight of the egg roll. Maybe it's because the egg rolls are too big. Maybe this was meant for something like a smaller spring roll 
uh, maybe the egg rolls need a little bit more time to cook than what I was anticipating. It can't hurt to throw a few of them in for a couple more minutes, so I'm gonna do that. I mean, don't get me wrong, I would eat that, but it's just a little soggier than I was expecting. Now this is the one that has been, these are, rather, the two that have been cooked for a little bit longer. You can already see they're certainly more golden brown than the first two, but here is the real test, the taste test, of course. Mm. Ooh. I should have waited, but it just smelled so good. Okay, so these are definitely a little bit crispier. I think that I can kind of determine after cooking it for a little bit longer uh, that this isn't a function of the air fryer itself. It seems like it's a function more of maybe the pastry dough that this is cooked in, but you get a little crisp here. See, you can hear that. It's delicious. It's definitely a little bit more along the lines of what I was expecting, so I'm glad that I tried it again. I'm glad I put a little bit more time into it. Be prepared because the chicken is coming. Okay. I am back and as promised, I have a whole chicken ready to roast. This is around three and a half pounds. I've never cooked a whole chicken before, so I'm a little bit nervous about this experience to begin with. I think I'd be nervous if I was doing this in my oven right behind me. I found a recipe online that was pretty simple. Um, you just season it with dry seasonings and rub the chicken with a little olive oil. Uh, so I'm gonna go with that, but there were a lot of recipes that I saw online that were much more intricate, something that kind of replicates a rotisserie style chicken or something that's a little bit more gourmet where you can also include stuffing and sides while you're cooking it in the air fryer. Um, I wanted to keep it simple because I don't want to mess with anything. As I mentioned, again, I've never done this before. All right, I'm gonna put the whole bird in. Okay, this fits really nicely in here. Um, so I'm hoping that that means it's going to cook very well. I am going to set the temperature for around, it's you know at around 350 right now. Um, and that is what they recommend for chicken. Um, and the recipe that I saw online said to stick with something around 40 minutes, 20 minutes on each side. Um, so I'm going to dial this up and I'll check back in with you in a little bit. Whoa, okay. It definitely already looks really crispy and good on the outside. This is going really, really well. If it turns out as well as I think it's going to. We are in for a treat. Woo! Oh, oh wow. Whoa. Okay. Toss this down here. carved the chicken as best as I can. Uh, I will admit I carved it using instructions that I found in a YouTube video online. Um, and I've never done this before, so this was really frightening. Again, as I've mentioned like a million times, I will admit I've eaten a little bit of the skin already and it's so tasty. Mm-hmm. That's really good. I will say that this is a little bit drier than I was anticipating. I think that that's probably on me because I am still getting used to the time and temperature settings on the air fryer. And I think that that's just something that comes with practice. But I would definitely be willing to serve this to friends and family. I think that they would be really impressed with this dish that I put together um, with really little to no effort. I mean, truly, I was doing a bunch of other things while I was cooking this. I can't wait to give you guys my final thoughts. I definitely have eaten well over the past couple days using this air fryer. 
So to recap, I made french fries on day one, I made egg rolls on day two, and today on day three I made a full chicken. I made a full chicken in an air fryer. It required very little effort on my part. <laughs> Surprisingly little effort. So to that end, I think that the air fryer is a really convenient tool to have in the kitchen if you don't like to spend a lot of time cooking and preparing things. I think that it cut down my preparation time significantly for things like the egg rolls and the chicken and that that's only the beginning of what you can do with this. I am by no means an expert chef as you can probably tell by now, but I found the air fryer really easy to use and it wasn't too confusing to me. All I needed to do was pay attention to the temperature and the time and that was essentially all I had to do. Also, if you don't have a conventional kitchen with an oven or a microwave, this could potentially replace that. Um, it's not that big. Um, it's a little bit big for my small New York City apartment, but that's of course because I got the biggest size available. Um, there are definitely smaller sizes that I think that might come in handy for people with smaller living spaces like myself. This is for sure a big investment, so I just want you to be able to see what my experience was like and think about it for a little bit. Let me know what you guys think. Is this something you want to try out in your home? Thank you guys for watching the checkout. I hope you enjoyed it. This was a really special episode for me because I got to eat all of my favorite foods. I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, thanks for watching the checkout. To try out the product you saw on this week's episode yourself, you can find a link in the description below. To watch more episodes like this, click here and don't forget to subscribe today by clicking over here. Thanks for watching. See you next time.